Good morning students. I hope you enjoyed your holidays of Eid, Sunday and Raksha Bandhan. But in those holidays, I also wish that you studied some and prepared for your unit test. Now, I know that compared to last year, this year's syllabus might be easy for you and you will be understanding all the things you will be grasping very well. I know how you can deal with stuff. But still, let's start with revision and the first thing is meanings where you always used to get worried about so many meanings for so few marks. But always remember that to learn a language, you need to understand words and those words, whether you know them or not, we can know from the meanings. So let's start with question one, give meanings for five marks. Here, I have compiled all the meanings of all the chapters, so we'll be doing them one by one. First word is quarrel. You know, it's an angry argument or disagreement. Second word, humility. The quality of not thinking that you are better than other people. Third word, interrupt. To say or do something that makes somebody stop what he or she is saying or doing. Interrupt what you guys always used to do during class. Next word, growl. To make a low noise in the throat, to show anger or to give a warning. Next word, howl. To make a long, loud sound. These words are describing the sounds of animals. Growl, what dogs do and how this a long loud sound that wolves make. Next is drill. To teach somebody by making him or her repeat something many times. Uh, soldiers have a practice session or they have a drill. Next word march. To walk with regular steps like a soldier. None of you should write third month of the calendar. After that, buzz. Make a low, continuous humming sound. Bees buzz. After that, flutter. Flap its wings quickly and lightly. Flutter. Then, extinct. No longer existing. After that, Endangered, in danger of disappearing from the world. Then we have savanna, a grassy plain with few trees. Last year also we studied this word, savanna, savanna region of Africa, a grassy plain with few trees. Peat bog, wet spongy ground of decomposing vegetation. Then wetlands, land or areas that are covered often occasionally with shallow water or have soil, soil soaked with moisture. Wetlands. Then we have bureaus, make a hole or tunnel typically for use as a dwelling. If the word was bureau, it is a noun, that is a hole or tunnel used as a dwelling. Then stout, fat or strong. You must be knowing this word from the poem, I am a teapot, fat and stout, short and stout. So stout means fat or strong, limbs, legs or arms. Snout, the long nose of certain animals. Then we have knob. It is lump, not the door knob that we have. After that we have the word shovel, a tool used for picking up and moving earth, snow, sand, etc. Then webbed, having pieces of skin between the toes. Like a duck has webbed feet. Then enormous, it means huge bison 
a large wild animal that looks like a cow with long curved horns badger an animal with black and white lines on its head that lives in holes in the ground and comes out at night then puddle a small pool of liquid especially of rain water on the ground and the last word is hose a flexible tube conveying water used chiefly for watering plants and in fire fighting question 2 is give meanings of the following idioms it will be for three marks first idiom is once in a blue moon it means very rarely now i know you all might have watched the movie smurfs 2 in that the concept was the final day was about the the day when there is blue moon it rarely happens so from that you can connect it that once in a blue moon means very rarely after that show true colors it means to show true self next is get the green light in the traffic signal when you get the green light it means that you can move ahead you can you have got the permission to go hence to get the permission blackout means faint blackout days or it is also used in other sense when you get the tickets at lower rates or so but here blackout means faint the normal meaning is to faint like uh, we say when we are we feel like dizzy or everything turns to black we say andhara avya so andhara means you cannot see any light so blackout means faint born with a silver spoon in one's mouth it means born into a rich family none of the child is born with spoon but that means from the beginning they were born into a family which is already rich then catch red handed catch someone in the act of doing something wrong or illegal golden opportunity is the perfect chance out of the blue unexpectedly and with flying colors with distinction question 3 is fill in the blanks and even that is for five marks now students i hope you remember that how i used to twist the questions and fill in the blanks or match the following and true or false here also i may do the same thing so you should be aware about the story the main subject what i have taught let's do the exercises that we already did i may just shift the blanks here and there long long ago the colors in the blank started to quarrel the colors in the rainbow started to quarrel or the colors in the rainbow started to blank colors in the rainbows started to quarrel that was just an example so you should read the chapters as well violet is the color of humility and wisdom indigo is the color of blank silence yellow brings warmth to the world orange is the color of courage red is the sign of strength and authority now to the next uh, chapter an old parrot suggested the idea to fight the lion became the blank of the animals commander the parrot became the commander of birds the birds had a meeting with the insects i may change blank had a meeting with the insects the birds the fly became the spy for the birds army the purple frog lives in india's western ghats scientists discovered and realized that the purple frog was a new species in 2003 the scientific name for the purple frog is strens 
I'm really desperate to ask this question to you. Will you be able to memorize the whole word? <laughs> it's very easy if you try to bifurcate it or try to remember it with the vowels like Nasika Batrachus Sahya Drensis. The male purple frogs are 60% smaller than female frogs. Termites are the frogs' favorite food. Vijay likes to play with blank. He, Vijay is our water boy. He likes to play with water. He likes to make blank in the garden and pretend it was a blank. He likes to make big mud puddles in the garden and pretend it was a lake. Vijay's uncle stayed in a small village. Rajesh said to Vijay, you should learn to save water. <laughs>